potential victim for fuel theft. So it's not just dodgy areas where trucks are robbed of their fuel, this happens everywhere. Standard product of us, there's a little belt that, you, that opens whenever you put the, the fuel pistol in. And Today the truck is a mobile data center, 400 sensors, positioning data, data out of the powertrain, sent back for customer benefit. The first use case is about real-time data. Scenario one. How can I monitor my fleet and identify load capacity? On the other way, you see that you have different attributes you can select from. For example, how much weight you have so can be loaded in a truck. On the right hand side, you see a map. Here, you're doing basically how much time is left you have for your truck. On the map, you see the trucks loaded, empty. Again, you can go down, scroll down, different truck types, because the truck type is important for dispatching. Which truck is already thriving, so not standing. Different you can also know. You zoom into the map, get closer information. You have even the possibility to overlay it with traffic information. So you see, if you dispatch a truck, if it was right, you get truck details. Kilometer driven today, destination. Inside the business. So companies outside the logistics business have not endeavored so much or have not been so much interested in building solutions for logistics companies. With our hubs in Silicon Valley and Tel Aviv to make sure not only that we get to know the latest trends in technology, business model innovation, um, but also that potential partners know about us and what we are able to do and what we already have set up with Fleetboard and uh, the truck data that we have. So what we see here is, or what Hannah uh, sees for us now, is a use case where we say, when the system has all the information, it knows your rest time, right? your driving time, your rest time, it can book you automatically a spot for a parking slot. So you, the system would know where there are parking slots available on that time when you need to make your rest. We have introduced the next load to you today. We stand in front of the scanner, uh, which, as I said, looks more like a tunnel. And uh, then, if your license plate is recognized, the gate opens, you slowly drive through. Then, there's even uh, a tire measuring system included in that scanner that checks the profile depth and the uh, tire pressure of, the st of your tires using a laser technology. That is documented and then when you drive through these 18 cameras start to take pictures of the whole vehicle from all sides from the front, from the side, from the top as well as from the bottom. It's the interface of Fuel Hub from the perspective of a buyer and all you have to do is here enter the type of uh, fuel you want, in this case diesel how much fuel you want, in this case 30,000 liters, when you want to have it delivered, the address of delivery, and then you have to say how long should my request be actively in the system so that sellers can uh, offer on my request. The request is now live and you just have to wait for incoming offers. Then at some point you see you have a couple of offers and you just accept the most attractive one, click on accept offers, then you have a deal. That's it. 